So welcome, everybody. I'm Commissioner Scott. Uh, welcome to the National Engineering League Presents, bringing you behind the scenes superstars, technical uh, professionals, experts, just making these services, products, and, you know, things that we use on everyday life to make it work, you know. Today we have Mr. Ray Simmons. Ray, could you please introduce yourself to the audience? Yes, sir. Uh, good afternoon. Thank you, Corey, for having me on. Uh, I am Ray Simmons. I am a 20-year retired veteran of the Air Force family, uh, father of uh, uh, three kids, uh, two girls and a son. And, um, you know, like I said, 20 years in the military and the Air Force is a long time doing anything, but I don't regret a single minute of it, right? Um, I seen the world. I was able to serve my country, and uh, I, I had a lot of fun doing that. Right. Um, so, yeah. Okay. So, Ray, how long have you been retired now, man? And what are you into now? So, my one-year anniversary of retirement was actually September 1st. So, so this 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 month. Yeah, thank you, sir. Uh, one-year anniversary. Uh, since then, I, I said after I retired that I was going to take a, a year off. That was my, my plan. I'm going to take a year off and just decompress, just relax. Spend spend more time with family, do a little bit more traveling. Uh, a lot of the things that I um, didn't really get a chance to in, uh, enjoy as much while serving. Uh, but uh, I, like I said, I loved every minute of it. But now uh, I, I I don't miss it. <laughs> at least not yet. It's only been a year, <laughs> but I don't really miss it right now. But I, I loved every minute of it, and uh, I joined the Air Force. I don't know if I said that. I uh, so was Air Force which is the best service. I'll tell anybody that I stand by it, man. <laughs> Thanks for the time. But, uh, yes, absolutely, man. I appreciate it. Um, and, and I, and I had fun doing it, you know, like I said, uh, along the way, I learned a lot. Uh, I networked with a lot of people, made some lifetime friendships and, you know, it was, it's just an awesome experience. And, you know, it's, it's definitely uh, a lot of memories made as well. Okay. So what exactly did you do in the air force for a career? That's a good question, man. Interesting. So when I originally, when I, when I came in, uh, I was on this, what's called a delayed entry program for about six months. And all that really means is, uh, you're waiting on a guaranteed job that, that you want it. And sometimes you have to wait a little bit longer for that job. So I, me, I got tired of waiting after about six months and, uh, I did something, uh, kind of, I wouldn't recommend anybody else is going in open general, which basically means, Hey, I'll do anything and I'll go anywhere. Uh, you need me to go. So that it was, it was a little bit of a dice roll, <clears throat> but I was just ready to start a career. You know, like I said, being a Georgia boy from, from Georgia, um, I had worked a ton of jobs bouncing from job to job and I was just ready for an actual career, you know, something, something steady, uh, something meaningful, and uh, something that would also um, secure me as far as, you know, getting paid and and and, you know, creating a, a 401 a retirement plan, uh, essentially. So, um, yeah, man, I, I loved every minute of it. I can't emphasize that enough, man. I love I love the 20 years of doing it. But I I did know this as well when I when I was about 13 years in, I knew. All right, twenty is gonna be it for sure because there's a, <laughs> that's it. You're not getting nothing else out of me. Right. I'm ready. I'm gonna move on. Ready for the next next chapter after that and what that next chapter holds. So, um, again, love the military. I loved everything about it. Love the benefits. Um, I ended up retiring after twenty years. You know, like I said, so I have uh, a few uh, passive incomes coming in that I had to do nothing for for the rest of my life, man. That's that's the beauty uh, right. of it. You know, one of the few jobs that will will pay you a retirement for the rest of your life you know that's still out there so so and anybody i'm yeah. sorry i didn't mean to cut you i was gonna say anybody else has also served in any other branches you know i joke around a lot but um you know those guys I like to thank them for their service too man and paving the way so yes sir because it's interesting right when i got out of high school man i really didn't know which way to go right i know i wanted to be a professional something right but some of the guidance really wasn't there. So I'm kind of throwing darts. It's like, okay, I'm kind of good at math and science. This engineer actually came to our classroom. It was an organization called Chrome. So I actually got the mug from high school, right? Oh, okay, right. So this were cooperative 
Hampton Roads Organization for Minorities in Engineering, right? So this guy came into the classroom, and this was back in 90, let me see, I would say 92, 93. Man, he had on some Timberlands. He had on some Carl Can I Jeans, <laughs> Carl Can I Had. Maybe some cross color, something. I don't know. Right? But he was cool. <laughs> he was a cool looking dude, right? He talked like you and I talk, kind of looked like us, right? He's talking about the Cowboys. I was like, okay. So I was like, what do you, what do, you do? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so right. he was like, man, I'm an engineer. I said, an engineer, what's, what's that? He said, I'm a problem solver, man. I work for Ford Motor Company. He was actually working on a fuel systems delivery system. So he was designing fuel injectors, flex fuel applications, and all that stuff back in the day. And, you know, he looked like us. And he was doing it, right? Getting paid. I asked him how much he got paid. I said, man, I'm getting like back then he was getting like eighty thousand. That was a lot, you know. Even though, <laughs> so that kind of sparked my interest in engineering, right? So, make a long story short, I became an engineer, but that was the starting point of it, right? But my point was, I could have went in the military to the Air Force Academy, but I just really didn't know what that option looked like. I thought I was gonna go to uh, you know overseas and get in the war, and my grandma was like. No, you're not going overseas. Something's going to happen, blah, blah, blah. 